Hi right, guys, we're about to kick into part six of Grandia HD remaster, and we're gonna actually put a dent into this today. I'm gonna play like multiple parts. I'm gonna upload them separately, but I'm gonna try a new method of uploading. See if I can use this for like a a new way to um, play longer games for me because I know that's something I really struggle with. Um, one of my friends was suggesting like doing a lot of parts at the same time because that's something I struggle with when playing these games. Is that I uh, want to keep playing, but then I stop after a part, and that just makes me lose interest in the game. So I'm gonna try to play multiple parts this time and see if that works out a little bit better for me. I have to get my controller. Oh wow! Wow, I about tipped over my desk and my alcohol too. That would have been awful. All right, back at it. Let's go. All right, last that we left off, we were about to leave Sue and go on our adventure. Welcome home, Justin. Dinner's ready. We're having your favorite stew today. Oh, uh, okay, let's eat. I love your cooking. What's wrong? You always say, really, stew? All right, and get so excited. It's not the same without Sue around. Did you do something to get her mad? I don't know what started it, but you ought to apologize being older, you understand? Well, I'll eat then. Doo -doo -doo. It's been quite a while since we had dinner together, just the two of us. It's not bad, once in a while. But you know, it's sort of lonely without Sue around. Ask her to come over tomorrow. It'll be okay, Mom. Sue w will be coming over tomorrow. She'll be coming over all the time. The stew today is really delicious. I've never had st delicious stew ever before in my life. Had such a delicious stew ever before in my life. Jesus. <laughs> such a fuss. I make this all the time. This is one of my best dishes. Um, well, it's just... Anyway, today it's extra spe special delicious. Extra special. Okay, okay, I see. You're such a strange kid. It's just the same as always. Anyway, Mom, where do we keep our photo album? Photo album? I think it's in the chest of drawers over there. You see my birthday's picture in there? The one with me swinging the sword around? So cool. I think so, but what's the matter all of a sudden? Come to think of it, the steamer to the new continent leaves tomorrow morning. You want to see it off? What? What's wrong, Mom? Why do you say that so suddenly? Right now, you're still a kid, but in a few years, Justin, you might leave on an adventure too, so I... Ha! Sooner than you might think! Say, Justin, why don't you sleep with me tonight? Come on, like you did as a baby. What are you talking about? I'm not a baby anymore, but no matter what, not today. <laughs> Justin, don't take it so serious. I'm just joking around with you. You're just too funny. You made me laugh so hard I have tears in my eyes. M Mom, actually, tomorrow I'm, I'm well. I'm going to turn in now. Tell me about it tomorrow. Good night. Um, right. Good night, Mom. Tragic, bro. That's heartbreaking. Look, he's even shaking. Be safe. Justin, you get to sleep too. She already knows. Dun, 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 dun. Hmm, I guess that's everything. Guess it's goodbye to this room, too. All right. Father? I'm sorry. I couldn't tell Mom after all. Father? And grandfather, too. I'm going to the new continent. I'm going to travel the world just like you did. Thanks to your spirit stone, father. The stone told me that Angelo isn't a myth. It's on the new continent.
Now I know. You must have felt like this on the morning of your first adventure, too. Father, do you, do you think I can really be like you? Everyone that mom tells me about was much stronger and much braver than me. Much, much more like an adventurer. You're right. This is nothing like me at all. Right, Father? I'll leave my picture here for you. I promise that I'll become an adventurer greater than you. Ha, huh, you thought. Goodbye, Mom. Jesus. <laughs> you gonna wake her up banging on the wall like that, son? I'm going. Today's the day. It is foggy today. I love the music in this game. It's so, so nice. Do, 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 do. To the boat, baby. What's up, man? Next lookout line in the Clinton Young Men's Club got cold. I've got to do it for a while. Isn't it tough getting up so early? It's a job, so it can't be helped. Our Young Men's Club has to protect the town of Parm. Alright, I'm here. You, you're the kid who keeps coming. I keep telling you, but passengers only pass this point. I am a passenger. I even have a pass. It's a real one. R-E-A-L. Hmm, it does look real, but it's so old and it reeks of something. Well, no matter. Passengers can't go back out once they pass the gate, understand? Of course, come on, open the gate. All right, take care, boy. Don't drink unboiled water. You, you get sick. <laughs> Thanks, sir. I'm not so frail. I'm an adventurer. Da da. All the passengers are in. Maybe I'll go get some breakfast at the Seagull. Yikes! A voyage to the new world. You'll get eaten by a tur giant turtle on the way. Then a hole, hole in the ocean floor makes a whirlpool that sucks you down. Heaven help me! Heave ho! I'm not talking to all these people. I refuse. Let me on the boat. What's wrong, boy? You finished boarding? Yes, I'm going to the new world. We're about to sail, so get on board and wait. Hey, wait up there, boy. Yikes, I guess Java's pass was too old after all. Look, hanging out of your pocket, that's almost like a signal to thieves saying, steal me. Huh? Oh, thank you. Whew, what a relief. I can't go back now. Huh? What's this? A letter? How did it get in my pocket? You there, out of my way. Keep standing there and you'll get knocked into the ocean. Jeez, fine, I just have to move, right? This, it's a letter from Mom. From Lily the Skull to Mr. Goss, President of the Venture Society. Not to be read by Justin. Oh well, I'll read it anyway. He doesn't help his parents at all. Spends all day playing adventure, coming home covered in bruises. Gets scalded for his mischief, bring home, brings home big bumps on his head. This hopeless naughty little boy used to live at our house. One day, this naughty boy cried. It was this day, the day he found out he'd never see his beloved father again. Since that day, the naughty boy has become a greenhorn adventurer. The adventurer named Justin is friendly, simple, and scatterbrained. I can't say anywhere near he's anywhere near full-fledged, but he's begun to walk on his own, on his own. When I see his single, simple, uh, single-minded figure in my dreams, I can proudly say. This boy is my son. 
Please, Mr. Goss, please help this red-haired green horde adventurer, my son. Help him follow his dreams. Mom, knew all along. Huh? There's more. Naughty, naughty, Justin. Knowing you, I thought you'd open this letter and read it. I thought you'd grown a little, but I guess you are still my naughty little boy. Listen, take care of your health, your dad used to say. An adventurer's health is his greatest asset. And just one last thing. Wherever you go, try to follow your dreams with all your heart, but don't lose yourself. Goodbye, Justin. Hey, what you doing over there? You're the last one. Come on, get on board. Hi. Mom, thank you. Goodbye. I'll be back soon. Jesus, that boat is loud, son. And our hero's journey has begun. Will Justin find the new continent and the adventure that he has so longingly searched for? Is this the last time he will see Sue? Will he be back after not such a long time after all? Find out soon. Well, let's look around the ship. Hey boy, what are you doing here? Your clothes will be soaked by the sea breeze here. I, li I like the feel of the breeze blowing across the deck. You're a strange one. Most don't like getting their clothes soiled by the sea breeze. Ah, every day swab the decks. Even a newbie could do this job. Oh, passengers, excuse me. Can I help you? The cabins are just downstairs. I always get excited at the start of a voyage. What kind of trip will it be? I'm looking forward to this voyage. But this isn't your first voyage. Why are you so excited? <laughs> no two voyages are ever the same. We might have children like you as passengers. Welcome, I am the captain of the ship. Do you have some business here? <laughs> no business exactly. I'm Justin. Cool ship you got here. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look at your microscope thing. Break it. Haha, <laughs> so this is how they communicate with people. Huh? What's this? Ahem, <laughs> Captain, all is okay. Yikes, the lookout's falling asleep. Hey, you wake up! What a huge compass! On a stiff steamer like this, even the compass is different. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Huh, are you lost? The ship is so big it's hard to get used to it. The cabins are downstairs, the deck and lounge are around the corner. Oh, what's up, man? Oh, that was a nice leave. Parm is a nice town. Sir, are you going back home to New Parm? Yes, my work in the Garlisle forces are waiting for me back in New Parm. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I knocked over that broom. Boy, is the steamer fun. If you have any trouble, just come right to me. I've had no trouble at all. Fun, nothing but fun. Steam engine on the ship has the highest horsepower of any engine in the world. Cool, will you let me look around? I don't mind, but it's dangerous, so don't touch anything. Don't want you to get burned. Hmm, what's this? Gotta push the button. Just a little won't hurt. Ouch! Ugh, no fun. It's too hot, so I can't push it. Mr. Passenger, this is the crew's quarters. Please return to your cabin. If you're bored, why don't you go visit the lounge up on deck? Where's the lounge at? I'm lost. 
Huh. Well. Humor second class cabin. Are you going to the new world? I'm coming home. I miss the town of New Parm. Sir, you're from New Parm? Well, tell me, what kind of place is New Parm? Oh, certainly. The sun shines all the time on cheerful adventures. Okay. I'm a traveling salesman. I do business wherever I am. If you want to buy something, go touch one of the items. To sell something, talk to me. I'm good, actually. I'm trying to find... I'm... Yeah, I'm so itchy. You think the cabin has lice or something? Yikes, slice? I've got to watch out. I'm so lost. I'm the ship's doctor. I take care of everyone on the ship. The captain is so stingy he won't hire a nurse. He thinks women shouldn't work on ships. I've heard that before. Isn't that one of the rules of the sea? 126, 127, 128. Just how many rats are there? I'm so bored on the ship, nothing to do but count rats in the room. Really? There are a lot of interesting things around the ship. Okay, I'm lost. Ah! Poof, poof! Huh? Why would... Why? Why would Puffy be here? I can't believe it, because she... Oh my gosh! Hey, you guys, how many times do I have to ask you the same question? <laughs> I'm with Justin. So it is Sue. Oh no, we've never had such a little stowaway before, but we must uphold the rules of the sea. Excuse me. Hey, boy, there's a stowaway. Might see him thrown over and board in a barrel. Hey, come on, don't say that. I don't want to see it myself, but throwing stowaways overboard in a barrel is a rule to see. How do I talk? I'm having a hard time. Oh, Justin! Sue, why did you have to come? Well, it's no fun without you around, Justin. I want to go on adventures with you, Justin. But you just can't do anything without me, right, Justin? Just live with it, Justin. The ship's already sailed. We can't go back to farm. We're off on an adventure. You may say so, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay. Are you Justin? You've really given us trouble with such a wee little girl. The punishment for stowaways is being thrown overboard in a barrel. This is the divine rule of the sea. Please forgive her. Sue's just a kid. I'll make sure she never does something like this ever again. No, breaking the rule of the sea brings the course of the spirits. Come, pick up the barrel, toss it into the sea. Yikes, wait a second. I like to your small kid into the sea in a barrel. It's just too cruel. Please, please spare her. Well, there is one way. The girl told me you want to be an adventurer, yes? Yes, that's right. I'm going to be the greatest adventurer in the world. Me too, me too. Hmm, adventurers are something a kindred to us sailors. The spirits may not curse us. Alright, you can become sailors on the ship. Huh? If you were passengers, you'd be stowaways, but if you're sailors, then you can't be stowaways. How about it? Will you work on this ship until we reach the new world? If so, we'll all spare the we won. I accept, we'll become sailors. Well, that sells it. From now on, you two are apprentice sailors. Understand? I understand. I, I'll be a sailor as long as I'm with Justin. Good. Take them to the sailors' quarters. Aye, aye, Captain. You two get plenty of rest. Starting tomorrow, you'll work hard. Oh, God. These are the hardest mini games, bro. And Justin. Good morning, Justin. How'd you sleep? Uh, I didn't sleep very well. That teeth grinding and snoring kept me up. I'm still sleepy too. The bed was sticky and damp. It made me sick and... Cut it out, newbies. Can't sleep all day. Get up and get working. Well, let's go. 
Hang on, newbies. Do you guys know how to do your work? Listen close before you go. Listen close, newbies. Up until now, you were passengers. From now on, you're apprentice sailors. Don't forget that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You two are in charge of swabbing the deck. You'll get the instructions on deck. Now I'll give this to you. Key to the quarters received. Remember to provide service if a passenger asks you to do so. Understood? Good. Now get on deck. Alrighty. Time to swab the deck. I remember these mini games being incredibly hard when I was first playing through this way back in the day. Oh, the apprentice's justness, Sue. Coming to work without being called, you two certainly have promise. I bet you already know, but newbies always start by swabbing the deck. Ready? I'm gonna have you wax every nook and cranny of the entire deck. When you're ready, come see me. I'm, I'm here. Are you two ready? We'll start now. Do you know how to do it? Tell me how to do it. The secret to good waxing is the balance of power and speed. To get started, press A. Then press A to raise the power and increase the waxing speed. But if the power goes over the maximum, you'll get tired, so be careful not to hold keep the button down. Release A to decrease the power. A good rhythm with the button will keep the power near max. The key is to pace yourself. You'll get a nice reward, so don't slack off. Are you two ready? You'll start now. Do you know how to do it? I already know, so let's start. See, I'm not going anywhere, boy. Puffy and Sue are just not helpful at all. Yeah, this was really hard on an emulator when I first played this game. But I got, I'm cooking with Cusco right now. So you guys gotta help, <laughs> please. <laughs> you and Puffy together are just like <laughs> not doing anything. <laughs> Tragic, bro. Good thing I'm gonna be the greatest adventurer. Do 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 do. Hopeful music. Let's go. What are you two doing? You kind of suck at this. Yeah. All right. Dang, we swapped the whole thing while Sue's still working on hers. Come on, you two. Do I have to wait for them to finish? Oh, that's tragic, bro. Oh, it gives me more time to drink my alcohol, I guess. Ah! <laughs> Tragic, bro. Alright, I guess you did get it finished, but do a little better next time. Ooh, this is pretty hard work. We do, we, do we gotta do this every day? Cleaning is part of training. Well, enough for today. Go back to your quarters and rest. I nailed that, son. Can you believe it? Alright, where are our quarters? Bad. Wrong door. Who's in here? My dear husband is just overwrought. Ever since we lost our dear son, he's been just so depressed. Our trip to New Parm now is one way to calm his soul. Sorry to trouble you. My oh my, dear dear. Oof, what business does some lower porter have with the likes of me? Don't be blabbering about. H Palerno? You are still alive after all. Huh? You mean me? No, I'm not Palerno. Poor guy. This is a really nice cabin. This should be a relaxing trip. Wow, it really is incredible. Wonder how much it'd be cost to stay here. Hmm, for what it costs to stay here, ten people could stay in second class. You the porter, the bathtub in the cabin is filthy. Be so good as to clean it. Yes, ma'am, right away. Oh, I'm so glad. I'd just die if my room is spotless. I do like to keep things tidy, but dying is a bit much. Guess I gotta clean it. Huh? What does she mean, filthy? Looks clean to me. That's odd. Could she mean that tiny smudge? Oh, huh? just this little smudge. Oh, well, guess I gotta clean it. Okay, that does it. Thank you for cleaning the bathtub. I feel so much better. Good job. Here's only 25G, but please take it. I'm the best. Money. Who else wants to give me money? Where is this? 
I, I'm not talking to all these people. Ah, might as well. Oh, young apprentice sailor, I travel to many lands to study their dances. Dances are a fascinating subject, after all. Not only people dance. The even crabs dance under the full moon. Birds and bugs and fish dance too. Isn't that incredible? Hey, hey, you, the girl with the ribbon. What's your name? I'm Sue, and this is Pluffy. Pleased to meet you. Poof, poof. Okay, we're done talking to these people. They have nothing important to say. Where's our quarters at? I think it's down the hall, right? Oh, that's ain't our quarters. You did all your work today. Great! You look tired, though. Get lots of sleep tonight. Ouch! Ow! My body here aches all over! Your muscles are just sore, Sue. You'll get used to it. I'll do more than my share of work today. Thank you, Justin. I mean, I did all the work yesterday. What are you talking about? You two, what about work? Do you want to give it a rest today? To do, do, to do, to do. Uh, round two. Well, looks like another busy day. Are you two ready? We'll start now. Do you know how to do it? I already know, so let's start. Da 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 da. We're so good at this. This is not near as hard as I, I think of you doing it on a keyboard a lot harder. For some reason, I can get the keyboard to work for this game, even though I got it on the computer for Steam. Oh, I messed up. My bad. Oh, no! Got too carried away. Either way, I gotta wait for Sue and them to finish anyway, so... About the same time, I think I was like 0.3 seconds slower. I guess you did get it finished, but do a little better starting R. Are we going to do this all the way to New Parm? Ugh, Sue, it's all your fault. Don't blame me. It was your fault, Justin, for trying to leave me behind. Fair. <laughs> Good, the lens is squeaky clean, so the light will shine far. Say, what do they use that huge light for? Don't you even know that? For signals, sailors and adventurers use lights to signal each other. Our guests will be on board soon, so we have to signal to send a boat. A guest? In the middle of the ocean? Of course, don't look surprised. Our guest is the greatest adventurer in New Parm. An adventurer? There are a few desert islands in these parts. Our guest has been searching for old treasure there. We're getting ready for the guests. Starting tomorrow in the morning tomorrow. Starting early in the morning tomorrow, so don't sleep late. Cool, the greatest adventure in New Parm. Hey Sue, what do you think the greatest adventurer in New Parm is like? Think he might be a giant man with a shaggy beard and bulging muscles? 
Hi guys, thanks for watching part 6. I'm about to start up part 7. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to finish Grandia, and I will hopefully finish it today, but I'm going to upload it uh, like in multiple days, so it's not like you're getting bombarded with like a bunch of uploads. But thanks for watching as always, guys. Bye!